Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to be going over the Dynamics module in Ozone 8. Dynamics is a fancy way of saying a compressor, right? A compressor is dynamic control. You're controlling the dynamics with a compressor. And this is what it looks like. It looks pretty uh, confusing for now. I'm just going to hit this X here. And uh, we have just a single band compressor now. It's affecting everything at once. Cool thing about this is it's a limiter and a compressor. And a compressor is, oh, sorry, a limiter is actually a fancy compressor. So dynamics is just compression, right? That's all it is. All right. It's, it's, the, it's the controlling of uh, quiet to loud signals and stuff like that. So let's um, get on with that. So you have your uh, bands here. So we got one band. We have our uh, meters here. So the the bar on the outside is the uh, audio coming in, and then the purple stuff in the inside is the amount of gain reduction. All right, so we're getting like one to negative two, negative one to negative two dB of gain reduction, which is pretty cool. And that shows that we have our limiter threshold, which you know is exceptionally smartly at 0.0, .0 dB. And then we have our compressor threshold, which is over here. Limiter controls are here. Compressor controls are here. Let me jump down here. Peak. Peak is what is being kind of fed into this detection. I call it a, a detection circuit. So this is the peak, so it's like basically what's going on. Envelope uh, is more, think of it like an envelope follower. It'll kind of, it'll prevent like, it'll it prevents distortion um, in place of RMS. RMS takes the average. And uh, yeah, envelope is like pretty, pretty useful. Let me just read this. Envelope mode behaves much like RMS mode, but with some key advantages. Unlike RMS, envelope mode produces even levels across all frequencies. There you go. Additionally, envelope mode will not produce any aliasing or artifacts RMS detection can cause. So yeah, it's just a, a mixture between RMS and uh, peak. So there you go. So I'm just going to stick with peak for now. We have our compressor settings, ratio, attack, release, and knee. Knee is something new. We're going to get into that. Let me just get my notes ready. Knee is basically the compression uh, curve. So a, uh, a higher value, which would be a soft knee, is more of a subtle and uh, I guess natural sounding compression and uh, lower settings is more aggressive all right also higher settings of the ratio is also aggressive lower settings is not aggressive and a ratio of that'd be upwards a ratio of uh, one to one does nothing all right so let's just double click so now it's two to one which is very gentle and uh, cut off here same applies for the limiter you want the knee to be uh, pretty pretty high or sorry pretty low so it can catch everything and there's that so we got uh, parallel here as well what this does is this is a mix between the uncompressed and the compressed signal this is called parallel compression or new york compression very useful and so that we have the adaptive release which basically uh, it automatically adapts to the incoming signal so it uh, basically reacts to the amount of compression that is triggered by the attack and adjusts the release kind of automatically by itself. It helps you out, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then the uh, auto uh, gain, you kind of want to not have on for the dynamics part because you kind of want to level everything out. But, you know, it's there if you need it. I want to get that, like awesome loudness you can basically turn this into a multi-band limiter which is pretty crazy and then you have your gain here or uh your band which is the whole uh spectrum so yeah uh let's add these guys back in oh you can also uh enjoy a readout all right so we're increasing the release so it takes a long time for the compressor to go back up We've got a fast attack to kind of grab everything. Right, and uh, we can just 
kind of leave that. We can bring the threshold down for the limiter. Notice what happens, the compressor threshold comes down as well, which is pretty neat. Right, so that is us squishing everything. So we'll just leave that like that. Let's add some more bands in. I'll give you more of a, a work, like a, a proper, like what are we doing kind of situation. So I'll add four of these back in. So uh, yeah, this is what I do. This is how I go about it. I'm just gonna uh, drag it all in by default. This is the default dynamics. I'll actually solo each one of these. And uh, you can also compare these to other tracks you'd like. So I'll kind of go through each band by hitting the solo button. And then check out this one. All right, so this one I can I can compress a little bit. Maybe I want to uh, give it a bit more punch. So I will just uh, bring the threshold. That if I want more, if I want to catch more of the peaks, uh, well, I'll just if I don't want any transients to come through, I'll just kill the attack. Which kind of smudges it. I still want those. And I still want to kind of look at this. Right? And then my release looks pretty smooth. If it's too fast, it distorts. Uh, too long, it doesn't kind of reset. And it just gets smushed down. Then you get like a future music episode that I won't mention. Um, yeah, then, then the knee, if you want it more smooth, a more aggressive envelope, if you want it that way. But this is a good way to kind of chill out and uh, add more punchiness to that. So we'll just go back to our multiband thing here. What I need to do is uh, boost the gain now. We're getting a little bit of a gain reduction here. And then I can uh, just turn this off, just the individual module. You can turn individual modules on and off by hitting this blue button here. Right, and uh, yeah, there's other things you can do. You can uh, ride the low end, which is doing automatically just by having it on there, which is fine. Right, so you give it a bit more of an attack and a shorter release maybe. Give it a look to see what it's doing. Right, so increasing the attack, more the bass will go through before uh, the uh, ratio or the, the the compressor will finally trigger because the attack is lower. What that's doing is that's kind of giving the low end a bit more room, if that makes any sense. Right, smooths it out a bit more. And this is like overall kind of control of uh, dynamics. And yeah, same as before, you can uh, compress the stereo signal, which is everything, or the uh, mid side independently, which is uh, useful if you really want to get in there and dig. So yeah, that is the uh, dynamics. It's just another way to kind of control the dynamics of things in a multiband setting. And uh, remember, less is more. You want to kind of be gentle with these sort of things and not use too much, uh, but it's a it's an accumulation of a bunch of things that'll make your track sound uh, something special. So, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.